Hello, this is our second video related to the subject .NET Metadata. In the first video, we have theoretically explained a .NET class metadata is been classified into two parts, information about members and information about methods. The member information is been stored to an internal structure called EE class and method information is been put into another structure called method table. In this video, we will print the content of both these metadata structures using a live debugging session. We will also learn two new debugging commands, dump class and dump empty for this. But before going to a debugging session, first let's view a class. This is a tiger class. It has two data members. So according to our theory learning, the, this data member information should be going to the E class. It has two members and a constructor. One is eating meat and run. So this, me this member information will be going to the empty structure. Now let's do the debugging and find out this information is been available on these structures. I have a test application to print CLR theorems. So I am creating a tiger object. Tiger object created. Now this object is available in this application heap. So in order to see this applications from memory, I have to connect this application with a debugger. I am opening a Win32 debugger because this is a Win32 application. I am attaching the process. My test application connected. So the first thing after connecting the application with the debugger, I have to load a DLL. This we have explained many times in our vid previous videos because in order to debug a .NET application using WinDBG, you have to load a SOS DLL because SOS DLL contain .NET debugging commands. So now I have loaded this DLL. Now we know that tiger object is existing somewhere in the .NET heap. So I wanted to print that particular object for our continuation. So for that, I am applying a command This command will print all the tiger object of type tiger from the memory. I know only one object. Yeah. So this is the address. Now I wanted to print the metadata information of this tiger class. We know that when we learned about .NET object layout, the object address is pointing to a middle section that is the empty structure. So we are able to get the empty whenever we print about the class object using this command. So we readily got the empty address. So now we wanted to print this metadata information. Copy this address. We are going to use a new command dump empty which means dump, print the empty information minus md and the address of the empty. Minus MD means print the empty with method description. So I am applying the command. See here runtime metadata has been printed. We can see eating meat and run and the constructor. These four methods are part of its base. We know that every .NET class is been derived from system.object. So the base class members are printed here. So this particular uh, tiger class metadata contained this many functions. Now we wanted to print the data member information that will be contained in E class structure. But we know that .NET metadata is the combination of MT plus E class. So in the CLR inside the MT address there is a pointer towards the data member information. So we readily got the E class address from the empty. Copy this one. To print the E class, we have to use dump class. Dump class, E class address. 
This is printed and we are able to see the data member information. So E class contain the data member and MT contain the method table. We can also see from this particular print the structure of method table. So once a debugger reaches to the MT information, he can always get the other part of metadata E class and from the E class information, he can always get the MT information. So both these structures are circularly referenced. Okay. So in this video, we have explained .NET metadata and we went through a practical section and learned two debugging commands. So we request our users to go through our channel and we have so many videos related to .NET internals and WinDBG. We, you can also visit for hands-on tutorials to simulate box at blogs, blogspot.in. Thank you.